Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Daniel. This is morning tea. How's everybody doing? Cheers. Uh, it's actually empty. I already had my tea earlier today. I woke up really early and had a reading. A uh, friend of mine, Alexis, if you're watching, thank you so much for that reading this morning. Alexis is a, uh, sorry, it's a, also a reader. He is a voice coach and a life coach. So if you are interested, uh, get in touch with me and I will hook you up with him. But thank you so much for giving me a reading. He's out in Australia right now, so it was really cool to have an international reading. A lot of good stuff came up for me, but uh, I went back and took a little nap. You might hear me. I'm a little stuffed up. I have a little cold today, so I'm going to go out. And I'm sorry, this chair keeps giving me trouble. I'm going to go out and walk around the beach and get some sun and try to sort it out. But let's get started on the reading. Um, and happy Labor Day. I'm sorry I wasn't here yesterday. I was up. We were having a luncheon yesterday, and I was prepping for that, and um, I just forgot to do a morning tea. So I hope you guys had a good Labor Day. So it's September 6th, Tuesday, September 6th. It says, um, permission to simply be working through transitions. The elation we feel when we have learned an important lesson, achieved a goal, or had a big breakthrough can sometimes be met with a period of downtime afterwards. During this period of transition, we may feel unsure and not know where to turn next. Many people during the pause between achievements begin to wonder what their life is about. These feelings are common and strike everyone from time to time. Human beings are active creatures. We feel best when we are working on a project or vigorously pursuing a goal. But there is nothing inherently wrong with spending a day, a week, or even a month simply existing and not having a plan. Just be. It won't be long before you embark upon your next voyage and gro of growth and discovery. The quiet lull into which, to which we fall between ideas, projects, and goals can make life seem empty. After accomplishing one objective, you may want to move immediately on to the next. However, when your next step is unclear, you may feel frustrated, disconnected, or even a mild depression. You may even perceive your lack of forward momentum as an indicator of imminent stagnation. To calm, this to calm these distressing thoughts, try to accept that if your intent is for personal growth, you will continue to grow as an individual, whether striving for a specific objective or not. Spending time immersed in life's rigors and pleasures can be a cathartic experience that gives you the time you need to think about what you have recently gone through and leisurely contemplate what you wish to do next. You may also find that, a sim that in simply being and going through the emotions of everyday life, you reconnect with your priorities in a very organic, unforced way. The mindful transitional pause can take many forms. For some, it can be a period of reflection that helps them understand how their life has unfolded. For others, it can be a period of adjustment where new values based on recent changes are integrated into daily life. Just because you're not headed swiftly to a final destination doesn't mean you should assume that you have lost your drive. The stage between journey can become a wonderful period of relaxation that prepares you for the path that will soon be revealed to you. You know, I think it happens to a lot of us. We work on a project, we finish, there's a little time, it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do next? What's the next project? Especially in like, uh, I know a lot of my actor friends and people in the business, directors, they work on a project and you're so engulfed in that project, it becomes your daily life that when you're done, it just becomes you have this sense that nothing else is going to happen. That's the end of it. Um, I used to work for a uh, nonprofit where we would travel quite a bit. And um, that was usually the case. I would be gone for a couple of weeks. And then when I came home, I felt like nothing else was going to happen. But it's just because I wasn't associating with my surroundings. Sometimes that's all we need. We need to take time to just, sort of just adjust to the surroundings again and, and be part of. So take time. If you are one of those folks that, uh, uh, promotions too, my friends in promotions, that go off and do tours and come back and feel a little odd, it's okay. Take a little time to just get back into and be part of, and it'll all come back to you. So today we are going to life review. Oh, what a perfect moment. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. This is from Jeremel. Um, can you guys see that? This is right there, Jeremel. Life review. So, if this is the time where we are in between projects and we're sitting down and wondering where our life 
is going. It's time for do a good life review. Magic is all around you. Isn't that perfect? Magic is all around you. Can you guys see? I don't know where that sun's coming in today because it's later today in the day. How's there? Magic is all around you. So remember, take a little time to enjoy just being. Um, review your life. And uh, mag know that the magic is, is just all around you. I know I don't sound like I'm making sense. My head feels a little stopped up. So I'm going to let you guys go today, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. I'm going to be out at the Laguna Feast again later on, having my tacos for today. If you are in the Laguna Beach area, please come by and share some tacos with me. Um, otherwise, have a great day, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.